From the immortal pen of James Fenimore Cooper came stirring tales of the early American frontier, when freedom-loving pioneers were carving a new nation out of an unknown, savage, and untamed wilderness. Stories of those exciting days, and of the courage, daring, and devotion of men like Hawkeye, the first of the long rifles, and his tribal brother Chingachgook, the last of the Mohicans. See nothing, hear nothing. But that's the third scouting party we've seen. They like vulture. Find only corpse. How far is settlement? As far as I could tell from up there, Morgansboro's about a day's journey away. Closer we come to settlement, more Indian we see. Maybe that's why no message come from settlement in two moons. I've got a feeling there's no maybe about it. Here you come out. Guess you didn't. Ain't time for you to take over yet? Your pa wants you. What does he want? He'll tell you. You're not taking the boy. He's too young. The boy is 19. Older than I was when I took you to wife, sir. But Tom's different. That's because you kept him too close to you, protected him too much. Would it have been better if I'd let him die like his brother, fighting Indians in the wilderness? People on the frontier got no choice, Sarah. He's the only one we've got left. Don't take him with you. Look, the settlement's surrounded by Indians. We're cut off from the capital. Somebody's got to break through and get help. Only a couple of men can be spared. I'm one of them, and I want Tom to be the other. But it's too soon. He's not ready. Not ready for what, Ma? You and me are going south, Tom. But the Indians, the woods are full of them. Well, we'll make it our business to avoid them. I'd best get some provisions ready for you. Your Ma thinks that maybe I oughtn't to take you along. Why should she think that? Oh, figures you're too young. Ain't had enough experience out in the woods yet. Then it's about time I got some, ain't it? That's the boy. We'll be back soon, Sarah. Goodbye, dear. Good luck, Will. Bye. 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 Good luck to you. Bye. Bye. I keep on wondering what's going to happen to us. Well, worry won't stop nothing from happening. Well, I can't help it. You'll have to. Oh. 
far as I can see, there are only four of them. I use the tree for cover and keep firing. Where are you going? Round them. Maybe I can take them from the side. But, but Do you... as you're told. Make sure you keep them busy. No more shots. I think is not hunter. Now the only thing being hunted in this territory now is scalps. It's uh, not out of our way. Should we take a look? Our blood has flowed together, my brother. I know Hawkeye go many moons to pick up fallen sparrow, even if not on way. How about you? I like sparrow. Some friends, you better take a look around. Are you hurt bad? Uh, just a flesh wound. Might have had a lot worse if you hadn't come along. First time I ever seen a white man traveling with a red skin. Well, you can't judge a man by the color of his skin. Besides, he's a Mohican, not an Iroquois. Were you headed for Morgansboro? I uh, just come from there. We're needing some help. Them Iroquois are trying to starve us out. Iroquois fly like mist. Find rifle. That's a nice looking weapon. Too good for an Iroquois. Were you traveling with someone? My son. Iroquois kill? No. Might have been better if they had. We didn't have a chance. Nobody would have had a chance. There was just too many of them. You sure your pa was killed? The arrows were as thick as falling leaves. He was hit right off. I saw him go down. How'd you manage to get away? I got the cover. Played dead. The woods were full of Indians. I was lucky to get back here. Nobody can get through. Not if they turn tail and run. You'd better clear the cabin. Morgan's lost a lot of blood. Well, what about the rest of us? What about getting word to the capital? Come nightfall, Chingachgook and I will be leaving.
I guess you're proud naming your son a coward before everyone. He is a coward. Jim, I'm ready to take my turn, stand and watch. You ain't got a turn. Why not? You might see an Indian out there. Okay. Yeah, we'll be leaving in a few hours. Well, ain't much we can spare. Larder's getting mighty low. There, these ought to see you through till you get to the capital. Don't want you taking time off going hunting. <laughs> you don't seem as dead set against the boys, the other settlers here, do you? Well, if you mean do I mind us hanging around, the answer is no. Used to be a horsebreaker. Learned that the finest yearling can be mighty skittish and undependable. Don't stop from growing into a fine horse, though. You give him a chance. If you're talking about me, there's no need to whisper. Everybody in Morgan's Bear knows I'm a coward. You won't have to put up with me much longer. The way I got it figured, it should take Chingachgook and me about three days to get through. And when we get back, I hope it'll be with troops and provisions to carry you through the winter. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, getting past the Indians ain't gonna be easy. Maybe some of us ought to go along with you. More men go. Harder to get through. Besides, you'll need every man you got if they decide to attack. That's right, too. Suppose well, you and Chingachgook don't get through. What do we do then? Hang on to your prayer book. Keep your powder dry. Right. I'll keep my powder dry. That's what we Not shoot. It's not Iroquois. Make too much noise for Indian. You're right, Chingachgook. going back. I'll never go back. If Chingachgook and I were Iroquois, your scalp would be dangling from a belt about now. And what do I care? Young brave not have right to throw away life. And why not? Life belonged to tribe. My particular tribe's made it pretty clear I've got no use for mine. On the frontier, every man's life is of some use. Supposing the man hates the frontier, hates everything about it, the people, the dirt, the danger. You really feel that way about it? Why do you suppose I left Morgansboro? If you're headed for the capital, that's where we're going. Three rifles are better than two. I'm a coward. I wouldn't be any help to you. Well, there's no sense in getting into an argument about it. We just want you to go along with us, that's all. I hope you don't regret it. We go. Feel danger ahead in forest. Can't we go across the lake by canoe? No, we can't. The lake's frozen. It would take an extra day to go around it. People of Morgansboro might not be able to hold out that long. Too late for now.
Remember what I said? Three rifles are better than two. Look, I, I've never... My brother shoot rifle. Much good with the rifle. The mine's loaded if you want to use it. Reload those guns and keep your eyes peeled. Push arrow through. Break off. It's gonna hurt. I know. Just the same, we'll rest here for a while. Tom, I don't see any reason why we can't have supper, do you? No. I'll gather wood for a fire. No, no fire. Iroquois see smoke. Only a small piece of venison left. Yeah, that is pretty small. Well, why don't you say it? The reason we're so short is because I didn't bring any provisions. Tom, if I'd have thought it, I would have said it. You, you don't have to give me any protection. Or give me any of your provisions, either. I didn't even help you fight the Iroquois when they attacked, when it was my life at stake just as much as yours. Tom, these aren't my provisions. They were given to us by the people of Morgansboro. when we left the river. The trees are so thick, you can't see where you're going. Someone's gonna have to climb a tree and find out where we are. <laughs> Possum not climb tree with wounded leg. Yeah. How are you at uh, climbing, Tom? Oh, I don't know that I'd be as good as you at figuring out where we are, Hawkeye. Oh, when Chingachgook and I are alone, why, he's the one who usually does the climbing. Why? When I was a young and I fell and got hurt pretty bad, and well, I haven't done much climbing since. You mean you're afraid to climb a tree? Well, if you put it that way, I guess I am. But a brave man like you. <laughs> All brave men afraid sometimes. Brother looked deep into heart of white brave. Sometimes bird carry Tommy Hawk. They're blocking the trail to the capital. Yeah, the forest is thick with them. There's only one thing to do, Tom. Chingachgook and I will try to draw them off. We'll get as close as we can and start shooting. 
But, but that... That'll make him go after us and give you a chance to make a run for it. Take the high ground above the trail. You should get past him without any trouble. But that means you and Chingus Cook won't have a chance of getting out alive. Must get word to capital. You mean to say you'd sacrifice yourself for me? For the people of Morgansboro? People you hardly know? The way we look at it, Tom, people on the frontier are building a future. It's worth fighting for, even dying for. About close enough. Hey! That darn fool, he's trying to draw off the Iroquois to himself. working. Young brave, clear trail for us. As fast as dive of eagle, he become man. He's cleared the trail for you. You stay? I figure he's gonna be needing some help. How's your leg? Leg is fine. If my blood brother stay, I stay. You said yourself someone's gotta get to the capital. If anyone can get through those Iroquois, it's you. Why aren't you on your way to the capital getting help from Morgansboro? Chingachgook's taking care of that. I figured you might need a little company. You know something? I do. If you still want to try and make it to the capital, I'll keep him busy while you make a run for it. I'm through running. Glad to see them. I'm just about out of powder. Yeah. Well, I guess the road to the capital's open now. It's the road to Morgansboro I'm thinking about now, Hawkeye. Hawkeye and your Indian brother, I'll always be in your debt for saving this settlement and for giving me back a son. Seeing you all together again is thanks enough for us. Right. <laughs> 